Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today we're going to do a new mod map tour of Merlot V2. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, so I apologize for how late this is going to come out. This map was released on the 9th of November and it's not going to come out until the 13th of November. That is my bad. I really do apologize. I just did not have the time to get to it until now. I was busy doing just so much other stuff going on. But anyhow, in the mod hub, it says, I have rebuilt my Merlot card to make it available for consoles as well. Uh, this is for all platforms, as you can imagine by that. There are major changes to the farm and a port with sales. The card is intended for users who want to have fun plowing with small to medium-sized machines. Uh, like all my cards, this one is very friendly to, to the helpers. This map is now ready for seasons. There are two courtyards, the main courtyard with cows, pigs, and chickens, and a small farm with sheep and horses and an extra cow pasture. The card offers, I don't know why it says the card, I'm assuming the map or whatever, but anyhow, offers 24 fields, 6 meadows, 7 sales outlets, 2 forests for forest work, and a BGA. Bushes and decorative foliage, foliage are added to the landscape mode. Um, this is by Richie F, R-I-T-C-H-I-F. Um, this is 155.93 megabytes, so not that big. And this is, again, for all platforms. So let's take a look. This is where we start out. We are in new farm mode, as all of my map tours are in. We hop into the menu here. We're first going to go turn that off, turn that down. Moving our way over. There are contracts on the fields. Um, we'll look at the animal pens in a second. You start off with $100,000 in no starting loan, and you have a lot of starting equipment in here, which you'll look at in the store. And here are your sell points that are available to you. So on the map here, we start off down here. And this is a pretty, it's not huge. It's a small map, but it's got a nice feel to it. And you'll see as we drive around here. So um, we actually, after we tour the main farm here, we're actually going to jump up to the shop, buy something to tour around. Um, so it did say it does have a BGA. Um, but from looking at it, this looks like a BGA. I'm going to be completely honest. It looks like one. Um, so I'm assuming that's it. And it'll pop up when we buy it. Um, if we jump in here, what well, you'd start off with starting land, you start off with this guy up here, which is that's the smaller farm area, 44, 460, 75, 840 for that. That's the uh, cow pasture there. And then you also have down here pigs. Um, is that another cow pasture? Good Lord. Um, and chickens as well. So lots of cow pastures, fuel station. Um, you also have a farm silo and a farmhouse in there as well. So um, let's see here. And as part of that, you own these two fields down here. So six and eight are yours as well. That should be all the... Yeah, all the fields you start with. Um, yeah, let's do this real quick, actually, because I am curious about that BGA issue. Let's just add just some money in here, and let's go back into the menu here, and we'll purchase this. See if it does not... It doesn't show up. Let's see if it shows up in here. Did not. Okay. Um, I mean, that's got to be the BGA. Just look at that thing. <laughs> Can't buy a lot of the our surrounding area. Yeah, that's got to be it. Unless that's it, which I, I don't think that would be it. Nope. Okay. So, anyhow, that might just need a quick update, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, that sort of stuff is often that happens, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so there's no BGA I'm going to be able to show you in here, but we'll look at everything else. I will pronounce some of the names wrong, so just prepare yourself for that. But, main farm. Oh, geez, I just got, I just died. You got hit by that car. So as you can see, there is traffic, but this is kind of the entrance to the main farm area, and this is, looks like that goes into that gate there, but that's actually... Bump it up to about 11, and we'll give ourselves a little more seed. Sorry, buddy. All right. So you do have a repair trigger at the farm, which is fantastic. I like that as a feature. Um, going over here, we'll take a look at this. Oh, let's look at the starting equipment in the store before we get too ahead of ourselves. Um, so in the store, if we go, that's not part of that. It's a mod that I added. Um, garage, you start off with a Valtra N154E, um, and you also have a uh, Armatrack 1104, a TX32 Combine, uh, by New Holland, then you also have a small grain trailer, a header for the New Holland, um, a small plow, a small cultivator, pretty standard equipment pretty much, um, a small cedar, not a direct drill, uh, you have a small mower, a small tether, a small windrower, a small baling wagon, and a small header trailer, and a weight. Then you can sell some of these structures on here, which is very, very nice. You can sell the cow shed, the large pig enclosure, the sheep pasture, horse paddock, chicken coop, and the bunker styles in here. And on that note, let's see if you can place them again. So are they modded in? Yes, they are. Okay, so they're modded into the map, so you can replace them if you want to later on, or you want to put them somewhere else. No mods in there. Or anything in there? Nope. Uh, decoration. 
Nothing out of the ordinary there. Oh, here we go. A couple of sheds in there. Those are pretty sweet. And you own those as well. So those must have been the other things in the garage. Let's show those in here. Oh, maybe you can't sell the sheds. That's interesting, but you can buy them. Farmhouses. There you go. Okay. So, because these look like those sheds kind of set up that are in there. And it said you owned them, but it didn't allow you to sell them. So that was kind of interesting. Got your uh, New Holland or Valtra in here. Jeez. <laughs> New Holland. I guess it is blue, but no, it's a Valtra. Uh, those are going to open up as well. So that's a nice drive through in and out here. Um, yeah, we'll look it around. So different stuff in here. You got your cedar and your cultivator in here. Nothing in there, but extra storage. Another exit out of the farm there. Um... That's not anything. Nope, it's not. I, was, I know there's a fuel point, but it's over there. Different storages in here. More storage space. So plenty of storage space in this farm. Big storage down the center. Got some more tools for you. And there are some different just details and stuff like this. But uh, some of you that might bug a lot. I don't necessarily like to have that around, but uh, it is there. Um, but actually, there's quite a few details on here for how little the slot, or I don't know what the slot count. Sorry, the uh, I was thinking about, I was thinking in my head that I was wondering what the slot count would be for this for console since I play on PC. But uh, anyhow, here's the bunker cell. But for the megabytes it takes up, it's there's, there's a lot of extra space on here. Cows are going to be in here. Should be able to go over, is this replacement? Yep, so it holds 200 cows you can see up there. Um, let's see. Okay, open that up. Beautiful. Come in here if you want to, out in the pasture. All is well. We'll hop back over here. We'll take a look at some of the stuff over here. So we have this shelter here, which I think this has... That one is just some storage space in there. I think this has the silo in it. Could be wrong. Maybe I am wrong. Yep, I think I am. Okay. So more storage space there on the other side of the repair trigger. We have our fuel point, which is going to be right here. This might actually be our farmhouse. Nope, not our farm. Here's the farmhouse, duh. Um, I actually kind of like the fact that they put hazard box on there just to show you where the sleep trigger is. Um, you also have another entrance, which that's a cool entrance right there. Lots of ways to get in and out of this, uh, this farm setup. But here's your silo. So modded silo there. And then you have more storage out here with these bins and whatnot. Little garden shed or something here. Oh, this is chickens. That's my bad. 30 chickens you can put in there. Fantastic. We'll head up the road this way further onto the farm because we want to go, or is this not? Oh my bad, I missed it completely, it's over here. Here we go. I was looking at the mini-map, <laughs> not where I was going. This uh, over here, is this? Okay, this is a, a meadow, I guess, the W mark spots. But up here we have a, it's pigs, isn't it? Yeah, pig enclosure up here. So we'll see here, pigs, 60 pigs you can put in there. More storage, so plenty of storage on this farm. Another little kind of sublet house or something you can have for different things more storage and pig pen back here you can go in and out of this bad boy um, through the inside here and it connects over to here so there you have it okay let's go down here and take a look at our a couple of our fields that we have so i think this connects up to them if it makes sense uh, field eight is going to be on our left so here's field eight and then field six is up this way and here's field six. So there you go. One's ready for harvest, it looks like, and one is uh, cultivated. Okay, we are now going to jump down to the store because I'm going to buy something to tour the map, and we'll test out, and I need it as well to test out some stuff to see if the PGA is actually, if it's fake, real, or what it is. <laughs> so we'll test that on a second. Here we have the shop. Shop trigger works. Um, repair trigger here. So here's, the, here's where the store is at on the map, which actually I don't even know where it's going to spawn. That ship looks awesome out there, it's, and it's actually moving. That is awesome. Sorry, I got really sidetracked by that. Um, I guess I've been playing too much fishing North Atlantic. I get distracted. Um, okay, let's go into here. I'm going to buy this bad boy. Let's just make it look a little bit more not the way it looks now. How about that? Yeah, sure, why not? That looks... Eh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah, buy that. Perfect interesting there must be ah here we go that's why we test said things out so here's your area where stuff is going to spawn makes sense because there's not really any room at the front of the shop all right we will drive out of here i love to the roads are marked like that on the map that's fantastic that i really like that i think that helps a lot to uh, help designate where stuff is at and everything like that so we're gonna head around, we might as well. We'll take a look like this, and then we will also uh, do a flyover at the very end. 
But we're out on an island here, which is pretty sweet. I do want to come take a look at some of the detail. Buoy out there. Look at that shipyard. Or not shipyard, I guess, but the dock with that big old ship there. There's a shipwreck over there. Gosh, that's so cool. We'll fly. Oh, that's my animals making noise. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> we'll fly around and go take a look at some of those features on the water when we do the flyover. Um, this will loop back around to the shop if you go that way, but we're going to ram this car and then we're going to go around this car, theoretically speaking. This is a cool bridge too. I really like this. I didn't play the old version of Merlot, so I'm not sure. This is all just kind of new stuff to me. Um, we're going to head this way, actually. But uh, yeah, it all looks pretty nifty, I think. This is going to go to the ghost of a BGA that I, I think is the... I mean, it makes sense. Look at it on the map. You know it's a BGA. It looks like it's got a big old tank there for digestate and whatnot. Yeah, bunker silo is here, and that's the bunker silo that you can sell, I believe. Uh, storage there, but oh, the, the BGA functions are not here. So I'm, ass I'm assuming they forgot to add those in or something. But uh, unless we find a BGA somewhere else, that is. But nope. well, in the process of hitting that tree, let's go ahead and go on the menu here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to head out. Um, we looked at the pigs. That does cross over to the grain mill. Yeah, so I think we'll head up, take a look at the grain mill. And then we'll head back down here and head up around this way. Um, take a look at this stuff out here, this farmyard. Head down here. Take a look over here at these guys. And then i torn whether I want to hit the main road or not. I kind of do. But I think we'll head around. Yeah, we'll, we'll think about it. Maybe we'll hit that with fly just a flyover and we'll just work our way around the edge of the map like that. That's not... There's no BGA anywhere in here, right? I'm not missing that. Ugh. I'm not missing a BGA that I can see. I don't think it exists. I think that's what it was where it was supposed to be, but I think it just got left out, which I'm surprised it hasn't been updated yet since I'm doing this... Uh, map tour several days after this map came out so i am kind of surprised by that i love the dirt roads are marked with brown and the uh the actual roads are marked with uh, the yellow which is fantastic i guess this map isn't that big so it doesn't matter where we need to drive but it's not going to take us that long to get there and this is the road out of here there's a main road down here and there's also a cow pen oops geez there's also a cow pen down here as well that we'll want to take a look at fences do have collisions as you can see i can't stop running into them but uh yeah okay head into here assuming these guys have collisions no those don't good actually i think that's a good thing <laughs> it would cause me a lot of issues if they did uh so i like this yard you can drive around in here and it's pretty easy to turn around and sell stuff and get out so i think that's that's a really nice feature of it so there's that bad boy We'll take a look at the menu in a second for it. Let me hop over here. All right, we'll to stop right here. But uh, in the menu, that is the grain mill. So if we go over to the grain mill, the grain mill is going to take wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn. We continue moving. Sugar beets and potatoes, cotton, sugar cane, and eggs at good lord. That is a price for eggs right there. And that's a good price for milk as well. And milk, and that is everything. That's not a fancy word for BGA, is it? That's got to be barn. Okay. Oof. Oh, I didn't want to get in back that back in that yet. This opens up. I like that. That's pretty cool. Um, this is where you can put cows in. 50 cows can go in here. Pretty nifty. There's a lot of nice detail around here. Water and food. I like that. That's that's very cool. I like that. Okay, hop back in here. And we will continue on the tour, which I think we're going to head. I did say I wanted to head back this way, didn't I? And head up the other side. That's not the correct way. It's this way. We're gonna drive through this guy's field. Um, we'll just head all the way around. We might as well keep going. This will take us straight to the road we want to be on. This road right here. And this should take us up this way. A little dip in the road there. Coming up over here, we got field two, three, and one up here. One's in the back there, so without crashing. Good gravy. Actually, that's the way I wanted to go anyway, so that worked out better. Uh, here's one in the back. Maybe I'm going too fast. That could be the issue. Nah, that's not the issue. <laughs> okay. So we have another grass area up here, which... Um, actually, thinking about it, can you fertilize these? Yes, you can. Okay, so they're legit fields. They can be fertilized and whatnot. Which, actually, yeah, now that you can see it, it's, there's a dark and a, light, and a light line there, so you can see kind of where that separation occurs. But that is nice because you can get more yield out of your grass if you end up fertilizing it. Which grass only requires one fertilizer state anyways. Oh, geez. 
part of this is me losing control. But uh, yeah, <laughs> field four on our left and then field five up there, uh, right up in there, yeah. So okay, let's head out here and we'll hook a left right here, go up this way. Okay, let's take a look what we got going on in here. Hop out of there. This looks like a spinnery style cell point and we have another cell point here. So um, we are up over here now. So the that one, the Webbery is gonna take wool and cotton and that is everything. And then I believe that's the shoon, isn't it? Oh, the agri, sorry. Agri cell point is gonna take wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn, sugar beets, potatoes, cotton, and sure can. I like that there's a lot of cotton spots on here, which that price is ridiculous, by the way, for cotton. But uh, anyhow, uh, sugar cane, and that's everything. But uh, fantastic. Actually, before we hop back in, there is a gate right here. And this is going to lead you down to these guys, I believe. Or no, this is this meadow area. All right, we'll take a look at these pastures here, or these uh, animal pens. So in this way, that's where we're at. I like the cobblestone road. Uh, coming in here this is the smaller yard we do have horses here you can put four in there and it, even you have a couple big bags on here actually as well and you could get a doormat mod and put it right there it's almost like they highlighted an area for you to do that um shelter there and then this over here is the sheep pasture yes okay not losing it completely and that goes out to that grass which i think is a really nice feature quite honestly that's where it'd be no that is where it's at there's no hazard box there but that just happened to be where it's at. Holds 50 sheep. Got lucky there. All right. We can head back out now. We'll head back up the road here to where our gator is and continue on the tour. All right. Loop around here. Fabulous. We'll try to do this without crashing. I'm looking at the mini map as I go as well. And we'll hit down here to the kind of the main... A little bit of a main T intersection, and then we'll take a left. Yep, right here. Hook a left up here. Nice little water feature there. I love the ponds and stuff they put in these. I think they really they add so much to a map and make it come alive, I think. A lot of the different features like that. All right, and cut in front of that car. Oh, they drive through here? What in the world? Wow. Okay. That seems kind of odd, actually, but that's cool. Okay, Lime Station there. I've never, that's kind of caught me off guard. Um, coming up here, we have a cell point as well. So through there, so you gotta kind of fight traffic over here at the Agrama, but uh, the Agrama, if we go back to the beginning, it's gonna take wheat, barley, oats, can, canola, sunflower, soy, corn, as well as sugar beets, potatoes, cotton, and sugar cane. Okay, so another kind of just generic style cell point. But that is, that's crazy. The traffic's coming through here. I was not expecting that. I don't think I've ever seen that before. All right, we'll head up this way now. You can take that, uh, or no, we, we need to take this right. Ooh, you're stuck there? Interesting. Maybe you're closing off the road. I don't know. But that goes to the edge of the world, and this goes continuing on the map tour. Depends on where you want to go. All right, so we'll head up this way. Loop around here. There's another nice pond, it looks like, up here. There's people parked out and about there. Oh, it's a nice little water section area there. Drive up here, see if we can't look down into it. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I like that quite a bit. That's awesome. <laughs> well done. Okay, let's look at the map and see where we need to go yet. So, we'll probably head up to here. We will hang a, a right. Sorry, I'm reverse here. So, come up here, take a right, then take a left, loop down, take a look at the sawmill, and then we'll head down here and take a look at this cluster. And at that point, we'll do our flyover and wrap up the tour. All right, hook a right. Field 15 looks pretty big as well. And all these fields are, for the most part, pretty much modular and good to go. Well, we could have taken that left there, but we'll just take this left here. It'll get us down to the same place pretty quickly or pretty much the same time, so. All right, here we have the sawmill. So you have a wood chip cell point there, lumber cell point there. You can see the trigger. And if we go into here, the sawmill is going to take wood chips, which is fabulous. And it's going to take wood, but wood prices aren't going to be in here or anywhere, really. All right, we'll head down and take a look at the last couple of cell points and the animal dealer down here. I like the ship setup out there. And that is what I'm excited to go fly over and take a look at. 
fantastic detail on a map like this. Without driving into the water there. I'd see I would hit that corner too fast every time and be all over the place. All right, hop out. So here we have the animal dealer. So you can go through and buy what you need. And then we should have one of the cell points is up around here. Oh, I thought it was in there. I was like, that's cool. But no, it's right here. That's awesome. Oh, that is awesome. I like that. It just goes right onto that barge. <laughs> that's cool. And then we have the final cell point over here, which this is the barn style cell point right here. So barn style cell point is gonna be this guy right here. No, this guy right here, sorry. It's gonna take silage, grass, hay, and straw. And then that is the, and that's the, the shoon and the port southeast. We'll go back to the beginning here. It's gonna be our final major cell point. It's gonna take wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn, as well as, nope, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting it to take sugar beets and potatoes. All right, let's go into the menu here and we'll get ready for a little bit of a flyover. Do some of that, do some of that. All right, so the detail, which is amazing, is that's awesome. I love that. That's, that's just so cool. All right, fly along the coast here. I love this. Oh, I love this island. Such a cool feature. That is so cool. Look at that out there. This is such a beautiful map. And I love the boats are out here. There's boat traffic going across. So you can see it off in the distance. <laughs> that is awesome. I mean, I know they don't look great when you get up close, but that's because you're looking at them from a pretty good distance. That is so cool that those get, these are just moving in the background. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, back into, back into the mainland. It's hard to farm out here on the water. Um... <laughs> So we got the lighthouse here, which is also incredible. <laughs> I would love to live out here on this little island. <laughs> we got a little boat set up here. Down there, that's awesome. And we got, of course, this guy must have gotten up there during low tide or something, but uh, there they are. And this boat, look at that, nice little touristy kind of ferry dinner boat of some type, but uh, then you got this little, looks like actually a, like a police boat. Yep, that is, that is a police boat for sure. Um, awesome. As farmer cop, I approve of the police boat. Uh, anyhow, and you got plenty of detail around the beach. I love that. That's very cool. Yeah, that's got to be the BGA, but they just forgot to put some stuff in, it looks like. Oh, boy. And this is the, what is this up here? Oh, it's the grain cell point. I was like, did I not look at that? But I did. Okay. Heading up around. So the forestry areas, there's one there. There's a little section there. Coming through here. The main details we've kind of taken a look. Oh, I didn't even notice this little town that's off. I mean, it's not accessible, but a little town off in the distance there. <laughs> Such a cool map. I really like this map, guys. If you can't tell already. Oh, and of course, we must take a look at this zone here. This is awesome. This is exactly where I would crash into and drive things off the cliff and do. <laughs> this is cool. I think that's everything. Did I, did I miss anything? With lumber mill there. Oh, I guess I didn't fly over the main farm. Main farm is honestly a huge chunk. Main farm. Oh, what I would love to do, if you could go in, and I guess you could edit that, is just edit everything off of those islands out there, or that island right there, and then make the big the main farm there. That would be awesome. I mean, unrealistic, but very fun. Uh, anyhow, guys, that's what I got for you. If you guys enjoyed this map tour, drop a like down below. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel, and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.